Hi everybody. So today I'm going to very quickly show you how you can do some blending within Photoshop specifically for fireworks photos. Uh, on Friday night I went to the city to capture some fireworks photos and I thought it was a good opportunity to actually show how it can be useful to blend photos as compared to capturing a long exposure. So in these photos, uh, and I'll bring them across now, uh, in these photos uh, which I've pulled into Lightroom, I've got three separate photos that I want to composite. Um, I'm not really looking at the quality of the photos in this scenario, I'm really just looking at how you can composite the photos. So I've got three here, as you can see, I captured these at about ISO 400, f 6.3 and 2.5 seconds so they're relatively quick shots they're not 30 second captures and the reason that i went for quick shots is because there's so many fireworks going on at one time that if you capture it for 30 seconds you can find that it's just too much of a blend and it starts to affect the photo negatively whereas by doing shorter captures and more of them you can then blend to a long exposure but have a greater level of control so what I'm going to do with these is uh, I'll start off by edit in and I want to open them as layers in Photoshop. Uh, there are lots of other ways that you can do it and with anything this is not necessarily the best way to do it, it's just one of the ways to do it. So in this scenario I'm working on Photoshop CC which is part of Creative Cloud but I'll also show you in another video how you can look at Affinity Photo and do the same sort of thing. So what I've done here is I've opened up, or, or am opening up, the three photos. I've opened them up as layers, so they will appear down here. Um, and there, like I said, there are lots of different ways you can do it. The way that I'm going to do it is probably slightly slack. Ideally, you should convert it to smart objects so you can retain a lot of the detail, but for the purpose of this, I won't. So to actually composite them is remarkably easy. There are a couple of tricks that you need to do though. Number one is ideally you would shoot on a tripod so that all of the background is the same. So you, you haven't moved, you don't have to worry about realigning or anything like that. So in this one, I've got my three photos. Um, I've got this one, this one, and this one. And so all I'm going to do is over here where it mentions normal, I'm going to drop this down to light. And you'll see it's picked up a little bit more. Uh, these aren't necessarily the best photos um, to, to do this with, but it does give you an idea. So what Lighten does is Lighten actually brings out the, the highlights or the bright details from within each photo. So what that's done, and I'm gonna turn this, uh, this layer off because actually I don't like that. You can see it starts to hide everything. Um, so all that does is it brings out the, the lighter detail in the photo, and really it's that easy. Um, you can change opacity to control how much is, is actually showing through each layer. I'm not going to in this scenario. Um, if, if anything with this one, maybe you would start to do that and say, okay, how can I reduce this so that it doesn't drown out the rest or, or readjust it accordingly? Uh, so now that that's done, all you would do is you would go to uh, save or save as, in this case I'll go save as, and I'm just going to save it as um, basically the same file name. Uh, what, what Lightroom has done is it has basically exported this photo as a, a TIFF, um, so saving it back should then mean that when you actually go back into Lightroom, it should bring that back in once it has actually saved everything. So that's it guys, as I said, it, it's certainly a very simple process. As you can see, this is now the composite. Um, it's not the best photo, as I said, but it just gives you an idea that I have three separate photos that I can bring in and, and have a little bit more detail and ability to control what's actually happening with that photo. At the start, you would probably edit the photos. Um, you certainly can do that at the end and say, okay, look, I want to 
bring it up or down, in this case, probably down. Uh, bring the shadows up, contrast up, vibrance up, and all of these things. Uh, but, you know, for the tutorial, I think it, it gives you a pretty good idea of how it all works. So stay tuned, I'll put another one up shortly on how to do the same thing with Affinity Photo. Um, and yeah, while, you, while you're there, why not subscribe to my channel, um, have a look at my website, uh, travishale.com, uh, where you'll find a lot of the photos and bits and pieces that I take, including the YouTube videos. Um, and thanks for watching.